Hi, good morning everyone. Today we're going to have a very interesting conversation. Um, we're going to be talking about the Ark of the Covenant and Pandora's box. My daughter and I, the other day, um, she had brought it up. She wanted to know about the Ark of the Covenant and Pandora's box, if I would look into it and see what she saw. So then we compared notes. Because <laughs> I don't know how else you'd call that, comparing notes. So we came up with quite an interesting topic. I wish she was here today and then she could say what she saw and then I could say what I saw. I really have to learn how to do the conferencing thing. <laughs> uh, she's busy. But um, it was very interesting. I will tell you what she saw first. That'll make it dividing and then you can see what I saw. So she was telling me that when she looked into it, she saw this silvery, metallic, teal colored liquid, which was inside of Pandora's box, equally inside of the Ark of the Covenant. And she said, Mom, I keep seeing this liquid. And I'm like, okay. She goes, is it like smart goo or something? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Let me, let me see what's going on. I said, do you see anything else? She goes, yeah. I see that they're both in a box. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, box shaped, square shaped, actually pretty similar. Um, so I started looking into it and it's like, okay, let me see what I see. So I went right there to Pandora's box and it took me to the oddest place. I was sitting in a pyramid and there was this huge, um, I don't know, some kind of box with a lid and it looked like it was some kind of rock, <laughs> some kind of a rock. So I'm like, well, where have I seen this before? And then I thought, oh, I see this in all pyramids. It's like in a chamber. And I guess if you went to Giza, it would be that sarcophagus looking huge, thick box. And it's like, oh, so this is Pandora's box. And I was thinking, well, they've always put out that Pandora's box was this little box and it was a box of death, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting here thinking, no, no, not, no, not, not at all. <laughs> Pandora's box is actually, and it's not just in this pyramid, it's in all pyramids. It's the liquid inside of those sarcophaguses. Well, they're not really sarcophaguses. We label them that. We don't, but these archaeologists label them that. But that's not what it is. It's a holding place for this. And the reason it's so thick is because this material, and I guess we'll get to this later, and I'll talk about the material in a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't just jump ahead. <laughs> so then I went to the Ark of the Covenant. I'm like, okay, well, I know the stories behind the Ark of the Covenant. Supposedly, they're a, a holding place for all this knowledge and books and all this. But um, that's halfway true. Looks like they had the Ark of the Covenant. It was a mobile unit to take the liquid out of the sarcophagus, Pandora's box, and put it in this so it can be transported from point A to point B to wherever, wherever, wherever. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, are you kidding me? Pandora's box and the Ark of the Covenant are the same thing with that viscous material in there? How did this get so out of hand with these legends? <laughs> so Pandora's box and the Ark of the Covenant root back to the same thing. It's the liquid that's inside that's highly charged. This liquid is highly, highly charged. It's the generator viscous material that runs these pyramids. And then I'm like, wow, that really went to the far left. I wasn't expecting this. And so I'm looking at the Ark of the Covenant and it's got like a, a metallic material on the inside and then it's like got wood and then it's got another material and it's like in layers. 
And then on the outside, it's also gold. And it looks like the gold is on the outside to stop it from, it's like if you had hazardous material and you put it into lead line drums and over time, these drums start to deteriorate because the material inside is so hazardous. It's so um, corrosive. I don't know how else to say that. And also, it'll stop the uh, adverse effects of the material from, it looks like this material is very detrimental to flesh. Uh, anything living, actually, uh, plant life, animal life, biology. It um, distorts and deteriorates it. It uh, decays it. It's a decaying material. And so this liquid was designed to decay whatever. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking, what? What? Why? Why? <laughs> Why would you create a material to decay? And I'm sitting here thinking, what were these pyramids all about <laughs> and um and it's so funny and i'm like please give me the answer give me the answer give me the answer give me the answer and it's like oh my and stuff started coming in that it was a generating system to decay material and it's like oh and yet it was putting forth energy into the um stratosphere uh free energy it had a multi-use function it's like it's going to decay material and then on top of that it's going to put out free energy it's like oh soil something to do with soil i have no idea <laughs> so pandora's box which was that going into the ark of the covenant which was transferring it and then the next question is why move it why are you taking such a volatile liquid which is mass destruction on human flesh or animal life kingdom, whatever, everything that's not mineral based. It's pretty destructive. Why would you move that out of a very safe location? And then I saw there was agendas and I'm like, oh, okay, let me see. So it looks like they had gotten wind that somebody was coming in to do something. And this group of beings, Jesuits, again, <laughs> uh, removed this uh, to dysfunction um, the equilibrium of the snow globe. They're like, okay, we're going to take this out. It's no longer going to function. Yeah, it just reminds me of what they do, uh, the inversion of everything. So it was taken out and it was moved and um, it was done to disassemble free energy and um, what would you call that? Almost like a, a soil generator. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, this is so typical, of course. And then all these stories about how the Ark of the Covenant, if you opened it up, you would be destroyed, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting here thinking, would you put something that's that destructive into a moving physical item that you could just, I don't know, go over and open the lid. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, no, you can't just open this. This thing has, it's like, it's got catches in it where you have to punch things at the same time, like mechanisms. And it's, it, it's not just one. It's, it's like six or seven. I, I can't quite get how many there is. Well, you have to do it in sequences to even open this Ark of the Covenant. And it's like, oh, wow, it's one of those puzzle boxes. Because that's what it reminds me of, a puzzle box. You know those wooden boxes where you have to figure out how to open them? Well, the Ark of the Covenant is like that too. It's like a puzzle box. You can't just open it because it's so deadly. <laughs> no fool could uh, walk in there and say, oh, what's in there? <laughs> And then you're pretty much irradiated. <laughs> Although we'll have to think about that irradiation thing. I don't think it is what they say it is. Anyway, um, I just thought that was really interesting about the Ark of the Covenant and Pandora's box. And it's the same liquid. And it's like, huh. So that makes me wonder, um, these sarcophaguses, 
uh, that are in these pyramids. This is why there's only like the one sarcophagus and they call it in the king's chamber. And it's like, wow, they really took this and just made that crap up. Um, there was something outside of it. Um, uh, it would have to be gold uh, because something to do with uh, the material of gold, stopping it from radiating. That's the only word I can think of radiating outside of the box, because even in the stone lead line thing, yes, it did contain it and it wouldn't eat through it, but it still would have this for lack of a better word, radiation <laughs> going outside of it. This liquid works on a scalar, and scalar means it goes through everything, technology. And it's not a technology of mechanical, it's an earthen technology. It looks like these pyramids uh, were earthen technologies. Um, we are not taught in earthen technologies. We are only taught in AI technology, which is physical, manual, doing something. And um, this was all based on earthen, which means everything can be found here in this reality, in the physical, well, what it used to be, 3D reality. So their technology with the earthen was safe. It didn't put out pollutants. And it was most beneficial to mankind and nature. So what we're going down the line of now is completely inversion of unbeneficial. And it hurts plants. It hurts humans. I mean, the frequencies alone, because they changed them to a detrimental level, actually degrades any kind of living thing where this earthen technology and how it was designed minus the viscous material, which was the generator, this liquid, uh, was only and ever designed to be beneficial. It would make plants grow huge. It would make human beings extremely strong. We wouldn't get sick, blah, 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 blah. And it goes on and on and on. <laughs> but I thought that everything that I ever heard about Pandora's box, and I know you've all heard stories too, and everything I ever heard about the Ark of the Covenant, and of course they've made movies upon movies upon both of these, are so far off, it's not even funny. Well, that is the diversion. This reality with these Kabbalists, these AI Kabbalists, and I, I lump them together because they're so intertwined, um, it's always inverting. It's getting your attention over here and over here so you cannot see what's right in front of you. Uh, that's the typical thing. Well, this is going to end because I'm letting you know Pandora's box and the Ark of Covenant are the same material, different housing units. One is a, um, a physical, standard, uh, stable, stationary place to keep it. And the other one is mobile. And that's the only difference. I will tell you this. When I look at the Ark of the Covenant, it's being held at a little tiny monastery. And here's the problem. This liquid has eaten through a lot of the layers that was to protect it from harming the outside. And I would suggest if you came across the Ark of the Covenant, you run as far as you can the other direction because this stuff is toxic, dangerous, and it's a cellular degenerator. I wouldn't want to get near to the Ark of the Covenant. If you gave me everything in the world, it would be a death sentence. I suggest nobody get near it. It is quite dangerous. It's like coming across a barrel of toxic waste and it's, it's, it's getting holes in it. I wouldn't suggest it. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, Pandora's box, you're never going to find it because they are the sarcophaguses. <laughs> so stop looking for a little box that you think is Pandora's box and it's full of whatever. So it doesn't have anything to do with um, some kind of disease or, or warfare of, of germs. No, 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 no. It's not that kind of material. <laughs> so um, I just think this stuff is so fascinating. Um, I actually know where the Ark of the Covenant is now. And I'm not going to say because I'm not pointing anyone to their death. <laughs> Oh, that's not going to happen because that's exactly what you'd be doing. You'd be lining up to die if you even went there. I suggest everyone stay the hell away from that part of the world, which you don't even know where that is. That's a good thing. <laughs> and um, it looks like also that this was systematically uh, taken out of 
most pyramids, not all. Some of them still had it in there and they came across it and couldn't understand what that was. Well, they found out. <laughs> they did find out. So, all right, then I guess that's going to be my very short video about Pandora's box and the Ark of the Covenant. And I think it's really interesting how religion has taken both of these things and made it out to be some supernatural thing when in reality it was an earthen technology so there we go it just reminds me of how you can have a hundred people you say one thing here and by the time it gets to the hundredth person you can't even recognize the story anymore <laughs> okay on that note everybody have a great day bye